An equilateral triangle ABC has three sides, AB, BC and CA, each having a length of A. At the corners of the triangle are a red ball at A, a blue ball at B and a green ball at C. The red ball keeps moving in the direction of the blue ball. The blue ball in turn keeps moving in the direction of the green ball and the green ball keeps moving in the direction of the red ball and all this keeps happening recursively until the balls meet. Let's animate a couple of steps to imagine how this process takes place. The red ball moves towards the blue ball. The blue ball moves towards the green ball. And the green ball moves towards the red ball and not along line CA. The red ball then again moves towards the blue ball. The blue ball towards the green ball. And the green ball towards the red ball. And this process goes on and on until the balls meet. Here we have shown the movement in big steps to demonstrate the process. But the balls move by incremental amounts in the same fashion. And ultimately they would go on to meet at the centroid of the triangle. We have to find out how long it would take for them to meet assuming that they all move with the velocity of v. So let's see how this movement would appear realistically. This is how it would happen. And ultimately they would end up meeting at the centroid of the triangle. Let's play it again. Now at any given moment in time, if we take a snapshot, you can see that they will continue to form an equilateral triangle. That is at every instant in time, they will continue forming an equilateral triangle. And we have to find out how long it would take for them to meet, assuming that they all move with the velocity of v. Let's just concentrate on the balls B and C and find the velocity of approach along the line BC. So we resolve all the velocities along the line BC. For ball B, the velocity itself would point towards ball C with a magnitude of V. So we don't have to obtain any components. For ball C, the velocity will point towards ball A with a magnitude of V. So resolving this along line BC, we obtain the component as VC cos 60 in the negative I direction. Therefore, the velocity of approach between B and C is 3V over 2. So if we get into the frame of reference of B, we will see ball C approaching us with a uniform speed of 3V over 2 along a straight line, since B is always moving towards C no matter where C's location is. The magnitude of the velocity of approach along the line BC is 3V over 2 and the distance BC is small a which is given to us. Therefore, the time taken for B and C to meet as seen by B would be the distance a over the time 3V over 2, which is 2A over 3V. Since this is symmetric, this is the time taken for all three balls to meet as can be seen from this animation. 
So we have solved a rather complex looking problem using the concept of the velocity of approach. We position ourselves at one of the corners using that as a frame of reference and we selected corner B in this case. Then B assumes itself to be at rest and sees ball C moving towards it in a straight line with a speed of 3V over 2 covering a displacement of A. And suddenly it appears like a trivial problem to solve. 